our world has never ever witnessed an energy crisis of this depth and of this complexity. Energy is the lifeblood of the economy. We remember the importance of energy when we have a scarcity of it. An energy crisis is an opportunity to do a step change. There is no time to lose, and so we should really use this opportunity to go ahead and decarbonize the energy system and also make energy system more resilient, secure, and affordable for everyone. Industrial production and transportation are the two sectors that emit most CO2 in Europe. Electrification of industrial processes is often the solution. And we already see a lot of examples of that, especially in industry, I think. If you look specifically at the hard to abate sectors, what you see is that the solutions technically are there. What is stopping the transition is actually the cost of doing it. Manufacturing, batteries, solar panels, electric cars, nuclear power, energy efficiency, heat pumps, hydrogen energy. All of them are flourishing around the world. United States came up with a major package of Inflation Reduction Act. The Europe is giving a similar response to that. Japan, India, China. Countries which really want to pump prime their economy, which really want to increase the energy balance, the only way which will actually bring the cost of energy down, and that is through the supply of green energy, which is the only energy, the more you use it, the cheaper it becomes. They are the economies which are going to steal the march on the rest of the world. In the $3.4 trillion investment gap to finance the climate challenge, I think we have more than $100 billion that is needed to fund the infrastructure gap just in Africa. It's very important for everyone to ensure that we are financing projects in an inclusive way without excluding any technology, any fuel that is important for the future. If you want to decarbonize a complete value chain, it's very hard for one player in the industry to do that alone. So what we do in LCET, low carbon emitting technologies, in this platform which has been created by the WEF, what we do here is with a group of industry players, we collectively decarbonize an entire value chain. And this spreads risk. We need to understand that energy is not only about supply. Many people talk about fossil fuel versus renewable. That is an important part of the debate. But we have to talk also a lot about, or to work a lot, on the demand side. Because if we lower the demand, we'll need less energy supply. So it's about making sure that we actually make a reality out of the technology, the knowledge and the capital that is actually there in order to run this. And we need to increase the pace now.